Today, I have seven ways to save huge on gas. Fuel frugality. Oh, we are going to save ourselves some money today. Hello, I'm the YouTube deal guy, Matt Granit from mattsdailydeals.com. Hopefully you like the content I'm about to share with you. And if you do, please make sure to give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn your notifications on. I usually hunt down deals today. It's just jam packed savings. A reminder, I give away all of the products that I test. I wish it was a car today. That would be so cool on mattsdailydeals.com. But we are going to discuss your car, your RV, your trailer, even your boat with some serious fuel efficiency. And hopefully this isn't going to be one of those videos where I give out all of that really obvious advice that aggravates people like, you know, don't drive too fast on the highway because if you go really fast, it affects your fuel efficiency. And I'm not going to do that. Hopefully this will be stuff where it's an actual beneficial bargain for you. And I know you're going to know some of the items on my list for some of you because I've got very intelligent subscribers and viewers, but Hopefully that won't be the case for all of this information. Quick reminder, if you head over to mattsdailydeals.com, all of the content that I feature is located right here, including today's fuel savings, which are tied to my blog posts. You will see this email address pop up. If you are kind enough to give me your name and email address, I won't spam you. This is merely your key to getting on my giveaway list. You'll also find it about huge deals. So first things first, and it's, it's probably what I would call the no brainer of this list, but number one, Find your gas on your route. A lot of people will drive so far away from where they need to be to save an extra five or 10 cents on fuel. You might not even realize you're doing it, but this is something that I've seen so many people do. You get the gas app, you get really excited, and then you drive two miles to save 10 cents on fuel where if you can actually plan your route accordingly to your home or to your work, that more expensive gas station that is on your way will actually save you more you need to do a little bit of math, but don't just start driving around town or the city or even in bad weather. I've seen people do it. They go to completely different wrong directions, exposing themselves to all other types of vulnerabilities where sometimes the more expensive station on your way is the way to go. That might've been obvious. Let's go to something that's far less obvious as my number two suggestion. Purchase gas early or late in the day, especially during warm months. A reminder that gas is cooler earlier in the day and more dense. As temperatures rise, gas density falls, and you get less of it when you pump. As a reminder, purchase gas earlier or late in the day. Number three, consider using what I think is one of the best apps ever built to help you streamline your fuel efficiency. If you've never heard of Gas Buddy, a reminder, this is not what it was if you may have tested it two or three years ago. This will not only help you save money on gas, but New additions to this include gas price charts so you can actually watch over specific dates and areas over time. And one of my favorite features is an outage tracker. I know what you guys are thinking. Why do you need an outage tracker? If you're planning a long road trip or if it is a time where there's a lot of concern over what's going on in the world right now, right? A lot of people stocking up for emergency prep situations. It's really good to know where areas are completely out of fuel. So this is again, what I would consider not just fuel efficiency, but peace of mind and emergency tracking. But Gas Buddy is a great way to plan long trips. You can enter your starting locations where you're stopping, and then you can even streamline your efficiency by putting in your vehicle information. So your tank size and your overall fuel economy is all taken into account. Fuel efficiency trick number four, get an air pressure monitor. This could be the most important emergency device you have in your glove compartment, but sometimes, let me just open this for you guys for a second. Checking, not filling, but checking the PSI in your tires can fully determine your fuel efficiency for the course of that week. It's really cumbersome if you don't have something this small, but you plug this into your tire, you immediately get a pressure reading. And with this deal that I found on mattsdailydeals.com, a reminder, by the way, I am paid in connection with these deals. This is 69 down from 99 for a cordless air compressor. And of course, your key to achieving some great fuel efficiency. It works not just when your tires go flat, but for that ongoing monitoring, which I think is key. Number five, for the sake of heavens, join a warehouse club. Not only are those wonderful bulk buying clubs like BJ's and Costco so fantastic for your overall bulk savings if you have a family, but your membership alone will pay for the fuel savings that they impart. And yes, if you go Saturday afternoon where everyone on earth is shopping, you're going to endure a really long wait, but you will save regularly on gas. And if there is a location near you, I'm telling you that membership will pay for itself very quickly. 
And a bonus tip, if you are a T-Mobile subscriber and you are watching right now, a reminder, your T-Mobile Tuesday app has regular savings at Shell. So let me just open this up for a second. And again, next Tuesday, I'm going to save 10 cents off per gallon. That is just for being a T-Mobile subscriber. That, of course, is great. If you do not want to join a warehouse club, T-Mobile Weekly will give you similar savings if Shell is in your area and that is a gas station you don't mind shopping at. Trick number six. I know we all love our convertibles if you're fortunate enough to have one. I don't and you love opening up your windows and you love your dog sticking its head safely out the window. Do not do that if you do not need to. An open window drastically increases the drag and costs in terms of your fuel. So keep your windows closed whenever possible. Remember, any type of unneeded car rack or carrier, my parents have a bike rack, I have a ski rack, if you have a luggage rack, all of this will make a great difference in terms of how dynamic your vehicle is. And I, I again, I tested this. We did two drives back and forth between Sedona and Phoenix, one with the windows open and one with the windows closed. And I kid you not, with the exact same fuel prices over the course of the President's Day weekend on the way in and on the way out, there was a, I, I don't know, maybe a 12 or $14 difference over the course of one drive. That was with windows open all the way. I know you're not gonna open all your windows all the way and go for a two hour drive, but I wanted to see for myself if this made a difference and it did. Again, that's an extreme example and I was really hoping to achieve extreme results, but windows all the way open make a big difference. Keep that in mind. As a bonus tip to that, Monitor when and how you brake. Obviously, if you brake excessively, that wastes gas. It causes your brake pads to wear out quickly. I am part of a tailgating city. I live in Toronto half the time, and then I'm in New York. These are very aggressive driving cities where people are on top of the next driver. And I'm not an aggressive driver, but I always find myself continuously braking because of the person in front of me. So if you pace yourself out differently, that could make a difference if you have the ability to do that. And then finally, tip. And trick number seven, buy gas early in the week. Prices typically rise between Wednesday and Saturday all over the country, but they stay lower during the early days of the week. So if you take that and you pair with that prior advice I gave you, gas up early in the morning or late at night, early in the week, early, early. The early bird will get the bargain when it comes to fuel savings in this example. So. I think if you take even two or three of the suggestions I made on this list, you will see savings. For those of you that have just realized that you don't have the T-Mobile Tuesday app, I know that's a bit of a bummer. They give this deal every single week, but that would be a great thing that you can put onto your phone. And then finally, if you have used Gas Buddy in the past, I think it's, a, it's worth your while to take a look at how they've advanced recently. They're of course not paying me to talk about them. I just thought this would be a great way to bring more savings to your wallet at a time where many of us need it most. If there are other topics that you want me to tackle, a reminder, I compare cell phone plans and show you how to cut the cord and do all of what I consider to be very valuable information only because I know about it from you. For those of you that have been kind enough to subscribe and leave me comments and give me feedback, I, I become better at my job and I would love to become even better at my job following this video. So there you have it. If you're not yet subscribed, this is what you can do. Click on my head right here, that'll subscribe you to this channel. If you need help turning on your notifications or leaving a comment, click here and that last roundup of deals that I did right over here.